presentation video is going to be about what I like to call the purchase cycle. The purchase cycle is a term that I made up. I assume that it's an idea that already exists in the world, but this is how I've been referring to it uh, among the people I know. And I define it as the constant desire to always want to buy a new luxury item, even immediately after buying one already. And I think it's important to know what a luxury item is. It, it's kind of subjective, but I would say that a luxury item is the is a product that you don't need. You know, it's not like food. It's not like some utility. It's a it's a uh, thing that maybe provides entertainment at best. Something that just uh, is for fun. What this is to me is the endless pursuit of happiness through purchasing. So what I'd like to do is talk about a recent experience I've had with uh, the purchase cycle and talk about my how I've reflected on it and how I've realized just the, the major downfalls that it can bring. So recently, my experience with the purchase cycle has been me purchasing an iPad Pro 2020 11 inch, 256 gigabyte space gray. And you can tell that I did a lot of research because I know these specs. So yeah, what I'm recording on right now is this new iPad. Gotta get my use out of it. For the longest time, I, was had, I had a 2011 iPad, uh, which was, you know, you have seen near the end of its life pretty soon. So for basically all of 2020, I'd been doing all sorts of research on purchasing this thing, uh, saving up some prepaid Visa cards, uh, waiting for the new model to be released, um, waiting for the right deal to come along. And, you know, finally all of the stars aligned and all these things came together and I was finally ready to purchase this extremely luxury item. So what I did was, uh, <laughs> I wrangled up all my Visa gift cards, you know, I got them in the system and, uh, I don't know about you, but whenever it comes to me, whenever I have to purchase a large item or an expensive item. I look over the, the, like the confirmation page about a million times, uh, before I click submit. So make sure all, all the, uh, make sure all the conditions are right. Click submit, got, got the receipt, um, in the email, uh, saved a bunch of little notes that I've been taking, uh, saved it all away, turned off my computer and then felt a huge sense of accomplishment for some reason. And accomplishment is a weird feeling to have after you just purchase something. But yeah, so I saved all my receipts, saved all my notes, you know, put away my computer for the day. And uh, yeah, I uh, felt kind of a weight off my shoulders because um, <laughs> it just been such a thing on my mind for such a long time. So then the next day comes and I couldn't believe it, but I found myself on Amazon the next day looking for the, for, for the next thing that was on my mind. And it was crazy, it was crazy. For me, this is not the first time I have had these feelings before. I can remember pretty pretty clearly having these same thoughts while I was in college, you know? And that was a different time. I didn't have much, not nearly as much money as I did then. But I remember, remember acknowledging the fact that, you know, after I bought something new, something that I didn't really need, I wanted to buy something else that I didn't really need. And I remember during that time in college, I was able to... I guess I just felt kind of more strong. My, my brain felt more strong and more resilient. And I was able to recognize this, this cycle and whatever the next thing that I wanted was, I just said, no, I don't actually need that. You know, for a few days or weeks, I would, that desire to have that thing would continue, but eventually it would just go away. And I was able to just find the freedom of not wanting anything, anything else. But uh, now that I'm out of college, you know, with much more disposable income, it's a little it's a little harder to just resist buying things. I will admit, but I don't think that that means that it's okay to just buy things. I think that the purchase cycle is, to me at least, and I think possibly to a lot of people, it can be a sign of a lack of fulfillment in other areas of life. It could be a sign that you're just bored, you know, you don't have enough to do. So you spend your time looking at Amazon all the time. I know that's definitely, I, I, I fall into that category. You know, sometimes I just open up Amazon just to, <laughs> cause I got nothing else to do. I think that 
slightly more um, seriously, it could be a lack of having people in your life to, to spend your time with and meaningful interactions with, with those people. So you know, I, think that, I think that purchasing things can just be one of those, it can be one of those addictions that you just get in the habit of buying over and over again just to, just because that's what you're used to. Going back to my example, um, the, the next thing that I wanted to purchase after purchasing this iPad was a new SSD, which is kind of a luxury item. I don't really need one, but I just want one. I think that that will bring me happiness, you know, um, emotionally. That's a, I think that's the reason. And I know that sometimes, you know, during my long days of work uh, at a job that's, that is good, but can, can get heavy sometimes. Sometimes just to, you know, give me that hit, <laughs> I'll get on Amazon, search up this SSD and just, and just look at it for a minute or two. <laughs> and then, you know, it's a, I guess it gets me through a little more, a few more hours <laughs> of work. So I don't, so I don't know, is it healthy or not? I'd argue no, I'd argue no. It's, it's not healthy to just be looking at products to, to bring you uh, a sense of, just to get you through. I don't think that's healthy. I think, I think mostly it's a sign of dissatisfaction. And before even purchasing the, purchasing the iPad, I, I kind of knew this was coming. I, I've, I've seen this happen to me many times, like just constantly wanting the next thing after, after buying something new. So you know, I think maybe some advice I would give. At least reflect after you buy some luxury item. At least reflect on the feelings that it gives you or, or your, your um, behavior after you get this item and just uh, think about what, what it, what it does for you. Because I will admit, you know, there's a lot of things, you know, that cost a lot of money that you don't necessarily need, but you still really enjoy. So, so sometimes it's important. And so that kind of takes me to my last point. There is always things that people are going to have to buy. For example, like, I think electronics is a good example that they, uh, they wear out and you need, you have to update every once in a while, at least. So, you know, during these times when you have to update your, your products, your, um, the things that you use in life, you know, it's important to, you know, research the products, compare what's on the market and, you know, like just look at the price and see which price works for you. And so, so sometimes you got to get on Amazon and you gotta, you gotta look around. The issue is whenever you, you purchase something that you don't necessarily need, and not too long after, you're, you're back looking for the next thing that you don't need. I think that's the main issue. I think that the research of purchasing a product should not be the part that brings satisfaction, but instead the receiving. You know, that would be the important part. If that's what brings satisfaction, then I think that you are not in the purchasing cycle. You know, I think I would argue that. All right, well, thank you for watching my video. This is the first video I've uh, tried to ever make with the script and everything. Um, I think I can do a lot better, but you know, it's my first shot. So uh, as an outro, I will be giving a tutorial on how to, um, how to lessen your uh, purchase cycle habits and with a tutorial on how to close an Amazon tab. So just stick around and I'll teach you how to do that. Thank you so much for watching, have a good one.